Yo, guys, Urban Bar brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. Guys, we got a collaboration here between the USA and the UK with Jack Harlow and our man Dave. Santan Dave. So guys, I've covered Jack Harlow once or twice before, way back in the days, and I've only covered Dave once or twice myself here at Urban Bars. I'm not sure why that is, guys, but I've not really covered Dave that often, but when I do, I have to get right deep into the mix because Dave is like a Rubik's Cube. Unless you know the right moves, guys, you ain't ever getting to the end of that thing. Anyway, guys, here at Urban Bars, we are intrigued because we've got Jack Harlow, we've got Dave. They're doing this lyrical lemonade kind of thing with Cole Bennett, the director. I don't know that much about Cole Bennett, people. I've covered lyrical lemonade once or twice as well, guys. So it's going to be interesting. All I know is that when people want to do a lyrical lemonade, something with our man Cole Bennett it's gonna have to be at the top of the game people trust me on that top of the game so guys we're gonna check out stop giving me advice Jack Harlow Dave Urban Bars let's get it Straightway, all is yellow. And I was going to say, all his lyrical lemonade's got that yellow theme, isn't it? I remember they did the one with, who was it now? <sighs> Can't remember. The other week, two, three weeks. Well, not actually two or three weeks, two or three months ago, guys. They did one a long time ago, and that was good. And I just can't remember the two players on that. So that's on me, guys. My bad. Huh. Oh, it's yellow. Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they got to down you? Think peace is getting written about you? Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever looked around and felt a profound sense of pride? Have you ever had to hide where exactly you reside? Have you been to the Waffle House on North Side? Have you ever made a pop star want to be your bride? Have you hugged someone and they cried? Have you had your heroes sit you down and give you the guide? Have you ever spoken something into existence? Or do you just talk about other people's lives? Have you ever spoken something into existence? Or you listen to other people's lives? And I know for a fact from my boxing days, guys, that's something that a lot of people are doing these days, talking things into existence, imagining things, using things like the 48 laws of power, etc., etc. Man, our man Deontay Wilder keeps talking about talking things into existence, imagining those things happening, and then they happen for real. Well, it's up to you. If you're into that kind of thing, you talk into existence, you imagine into existence, then go for it. That's your that's your bag, people. But it is what it is. I just like the video here with the black and the white guys. We've got the duality here, but then you've got striking colors there. I always talk about colors, people. I talk about colors, numbers, symbol signs and stuff like that in videos, people, and music. And there you've got the yellow ties just really just striking out there. And yeah, that was really good. And you saw the VIP there on the on the taxi cab, etc. So Jack Harlow is just literally telling you guys, take a second, step back. Step back from the rat race, guys, and think about things, guys. Look at the world from a different viewpoint. Maybe take a helicopter viewpoint. Just take a step away from the real and take a step back and look and see. Take a step away from the eye of the storm. Ask yourself a few questions, guys. Maybe you'll see things in a different perspective. I don't know. And you're saying, like, have you ever been to Montana and seen the hills from Montana? There's a lot of beauty out there, people, in these places. So sometimes it's good just to take a step back and take a look and chill for a little bit, guys. I'm going to wheel that a little bit back again. It's interesting to hear what our man Jack Harlow is saying, people. It's a pride. It's Have you ever had to hide where exactly you reside? Have you been to the Waffle House on North Side? Have you ever made a pop star want to be your bride? Have you hugged someone and they cried? Have you had your heroes sit you down and give you the guide? 
Have you ever spoken something into existence or do you just talk about other people's lives? Have you ever spoken something into existence or do you just talk about other people's lives? And I'm just asking myself the question here because he said, have you ever made a pop star your bride, this, that and the third? So is Jack Harlow referring to bits and pieces that he's done himself? Or is he just talking on a general level? It's interesting to find out because I don't know that much about Jack Harlow. The only things I know about him is I think he did a track with MGK. And I also know that Jack Harlow recently got dissed by Millie's because I covered that about a week or two weeks ago. Millie's dissed Jack Harlow, didn't he? He went in hard on him. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, but there was the link between Millie's Jack Harlow, MGK, etc, etc. But Jack Harlow does his thing. And I think Jack Harlow sings as well, doesn't he, guys? I'm sure of it, because I'm sure I covered a track from Jack Harlow and I'm sure he was singing. But let me know, because I don't know too much about him. So let me know down here in the comment section, people. Let me know, let me know. So he's talking about talking things into existence. Your heroes sit you down and give you the guide. Have you ever spoken something into existence or do you just talk about other people's lives? <laughs> Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. I like the, 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 the beat on that. It's nice. The Stop giving me advice. Stop. All this unsolicited advice from the guys getting booked for a quarter of my price. All this red carpet shit, brand partnerships. I must have let y'all forget that boy nice. No sprite, but life giving me lemons with the limelight. Giving him lemons with the limelight. And when I look at this picture, I keep thinking of the festivals like Glastonbury and all the other places that people are doing their festivals at, etc, etc. The guys getting booked for a quarter of my price. So all this red carpet shit, brand partnerships. I must have let y'all forget that boy nice. No Sprite, but life giving me lemons with the limelight. It's fine, victory's mine. I lost the desire for being intimate at the end of my nights. I can do that at the end of my life. You know the phrase is business before pleasure. Because I'm banking on it, bringing me more pleasure to pressure me. Business before pleasure. And every time he says that, I always think of EPMD, Eric and Parrish making dollars. Their first four albums were something like Business Never Personal, Strictly, Biz Strictly Business, Business Never Personal. What was the other one? Still Business. And anyway, all the titles were all about business. So it's business, not personal. I always think of Eric and Parrish making dollars. If your hip hop history goes back to the 80s through to the 90s, you know all about EPMD and their titles, Strictly Business. It's all about business people. So they were telling people from the 80s, the late 80s, that the hip hop is all about business, guys. Yes, it's nice to have the music, but business first. Business, strictly business. Business never personal. Trust me on that, people. Trust the me end of my that. life, you know the phrase is business before pleasure. Because I'm mm. banking on it, bringing me more pleasure. The pressure makes diamonds, the diamonds make more oh uh, he's talking about business before pleasure and the pressure you push it down enough it will make diamonds over enough period of time the pressure from the pleasure, pleasure the pressure makes diamonds the diamonds make more pressure and so on and so forth okay i'll give you four diamonds. more measures and more records with more effort than ever before i'm the young and on the teen has got a veteran core they know the mm. formula just give him space and let him record and just remember what he said on the course hmm and I love this track. It's just a simple guitar kind of lick here. And it really does remind me of like Glastonbury and all these places, although there's just the one tent here, guys, instead of the 10,000 tents. But Jack Hartle is making a lot of sense here, and he's just telling you straight. And this is laid back, laid back. And EPMD were laid back in their eyes, Eric and Parrish, if you know who I'm talking about. They were laid back, guys, laid back in a cup. And just remember what he said on the chorus. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving him advice, Stop. people. Whoa. Stop. Dave's gonna come in now, people. Stop giving me advice. Yeah. Hmm. Stop giving Dave. me advice. Yeah. Suited and booted. I love this video, guys. I love black and white videos. Tell me that straight people. I just love that splash of color here with the gold. But we know that Dave's gonna come in on this and he's gonna do something just absolutely insane. Stop giving me advice. Yeah. Stop. I know you feel love, feel shame, feel pride. I can see it in your eyes. I met a fan at work. He told me it's his job on the side. As if I'm unimpressed by his everyday life. Niggas mm. die every day, be that's everyday life. The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me. The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me. 
Dave. For real. Life. Niggas die every day, be that's everyday life. The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me. When you've done as many flights as me, long nights as me, took as many left turns to make right as me. I'm in the middle of. Took as many left turns to make right as me. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to bust his back out with our man. This is Dave. job on the side. Let's go back to our man Dave. Stop. I know you feel love, feel shame, feel pride. I can see it in your eyes. I met a fan at work. He told me it's his job on the side. <laughs> As if I'm unimpressed by his everyday life. Niggas die every day, be that's everyday life. The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me. When you've done as many flights as me, long nights as me, took as many left turns to make right as me. I'm in the middle of the veil like a bride to be. That's why I like to. Yeah. You left somebody that you love at the bottom of a mountain Cause they're afraid to climb it Have you changed your climate? Had her insta and made her change the private Had her fly economy and make her change the private Seen your nigga get nicked And then go and catch a case just like him Brought her to the game and she ain't excited Probably come my mum sat courtside for I did Am I sick if I say I like women with mileage And trips to Knightsbridge Old Jemima Trips in a park with my oldest rider To test out the nine like I loaned a striker I'm a lone survivor and the way I spell lone is A O O A. Oh, lone survivor. And I was thinking L O N E. But he said the way he spells it is L O A N. Is when you start to loan money to people, you loan it at interest. So you get something back from it. And I was thinking of L O N E. Being alone, alone. Oh, what's Dave saying, man? this rider to test out the nine like I loaned a striker. I'm a lone survivor. And the way I spell lone is A O O A N. I like that. So he spells alone, A L O A N. So it's not alone. A L O N E, that's on your own. Sorry, I thought he said he's a lone survivor, but he means a lone survivor. So it makes sense there when he spells it A L O A N. He's loaning you that low. And trips to Knightsbridge, old Jemima. Trips in a park with my oldest rider to test out the nine like I loaned a striker. I'm a lone survivor. And the way I spell loan is A O O A N. I don't ever want to spend on a whole again, but I'm a fucking feminist, so I go again. I'm on a roll. Oh, he doesn't want to spend on A again, but he's a feminist, so he's going to go again. Whoa, being a lone survivor, he ain't going to ever spend on A again. <laughs> because he's a feminist, he's going to go again. He's always on that merry go round, people. Being a lone survivor. Lone is A O O A N. I don't ever want to spend on a whole again, but I'm a fucking feminist, so I go again. I'm on a roll again. Mm. Yeah. You can't control what the heart feels. You soon go broke. I see you blowing it fast still. Death row. You niggas down to your last meal. Oh, death row. Now, is he talking about death row records? <laughs> I don't think so. But he says that they're down to their last meal. And can you hear? The lovely little vocals going on in the background coming out here on that left side. I can hear stuff coming around this as well. It's just really harmonizing, just making this tune something special. This is fantastic. I just love the richness of that kick that comes in every time. Control with the heart fills. You soon go broke. I see you blowing it fast still. Death row. You niggas down to your last meal. You ever sign a seven figure deal on a bird's quill? Can't even call it breakfast car. It wasn't your first meal. Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still. Yeah. You ever fucked a supermodel when it sounds like skeletons dancing? <laughs> you forget a birthday, but you'll remember your verse still. Then he starts talking about supermodels. Really? Really? Kai, it wasn't your first meal. Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still. Yeah. You ever fucked a supermodel when it sounds like skeletons dancing? You feel numb to the praise and the memory. Oh, 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 oh. Really? supermodels horizontal and it sounds like skeletons dancing are you just saying they're all skin unborn <laughs> really skin unborn really <laughs> oh i got that wrong people let me know in the comment section skeletons. oh dave man you need to just chill 
Really? Think of doing a bird's quill, can't even call it breakfast Kai, it wasn't your first meal Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still Yeah, you ever fucked a supermodel and it sounds like skeletons dancing? You feel numb to the praise and the memories passing You ever rob someone and it sounds like asking Didn't have no food to you, disguise it as fasting Had drugs, abused perfume, trying to mask it You ever lived the life of an artist, escaping darkness Fines are you paying for parking You can tell how she fucked by the way that she glancing Your communication bad but you're rich so she's giving you chances Oh, really? Pretty women giving you dances I come with a pole but she more Olivia than Francis You ever been... Did he say something about the Pope? And is it Pope Francis? I can't remember the Pope's name. Is it Pope Francis? Oh my gosh. That was word association, people. You dances. I come with a Pope, but she more Olivia than Francis. You ever been? Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. Stop giving me advice. Stop. Love that kick. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving Stop me giving advice, me. people. Don't want your Stop advice. Stop giving me advice. Nice people. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they got to down you? I like Think this. Are getting written about you. Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever mm. looked around and felt a profound sense of pride? Whoa. This is my favorite lyrical lemonade track I've seen. There must be loads and loads. I've hardly seen any of them, to be honest with you. But at the moment, this is my favorite one I've seen. And this guy's was Stop Giving Me Advice. Jack Harlow, that was fantastic. And then Dave as well. I thought both of them really just... Uh, they complimented each other to the absolute utmost people. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. I like hip-hop, which makes you think. You know what I'm saying? So you've got a lot of people who are fast rhyming, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff, whatever. But if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense to me, guys, if that makes sense to you. <laughs> really? Seriously, guys, I, I need hip hop that makes me think. I need it to challenge me. I need it to make me question what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about, guys. I mean, people just throw words together. It doesn't mean anything, people. Trust me on that. Anything could happen like that kind of stuff. But when people talk like this, yeah, it's good because they literally just challenge the way you want to think and they make you ask questions of yourself. So that was good. I enjoyed that. Stop giving me advice, Jack Harlow and Dave. And I really loved it. Two men in suits with the yellow ties, etc., etc. I still can't think of the one that the last one I saw, guys. I am so I can't remember who it was, guys, but that that was really, really good as well. The last one. But I covered that as well. So it's down somewhere in my catalogue of reactions, blah, blah, blah. But I think this one was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Really loved it. Yeah. I don't even know what more to say. I think Cole Bennett, the guy who directed this. Yeah, I can start to see now what people are saying about this guy. Sometimes less is more. He's very subtle about what he does. I like some of the subtle things like... In some of the pictures, you saw a lot of the traffic. There was maybe a couple of yellow buses or something. So he doesn't just throw yellow everything, whatever. He doesn't just throw black and white everything. He's very, very, what's the word? He, I can't even think what the word is, but he picks and he chooses the right images to tinker with and to put some tincture on this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. It was very, very good. Very, very subtle. And I love the music. I don't know who did the music. I don't know who produced or anything, but I just loved just the fullness of those kicks that kept coming in and then the doubles and sometimes it was trebles on those kicks as well and that little guitar line that was playing through I don't even know did Dave play it himself I don't know because I know that Dave did learn to play the guitar people because yeah I've got a story about that but I'm not really going to it now but yeah apart from that guys yeah I thought Dave came correct and I thought our man Jack Harlow did as well that was fantastic I hope you enjoyed it here at Urban Bars guys we love music like this guys we love music like this. You don't have to throw everything at a song. Seriously, sometimes you just strip it back. And this was a lovely stripped back track. And it just really gave them enough for them to do their thing on this track. And I thought it's fantastic, people. Absolutely fantastic. And the video was great, wasn't it? You know, these, these guys just walking through the field in their suits. Really? <laughs> 
yeah it is what it is guys i enjoyed that so that was dave that was jack harlow and that was stop giving me advice people and sometimes it's true sometimes you get too much advice from too many people and sometimes you just need to say at it stop i'm just gonna go for dolo i'll just do it as i see fit anyway guys so that was stop giving me advice jack harlow dave that was great what more can I say? All I'm going to say, guys, is if you're going out, make certain you look after yourselves, make certain you have fun, look after yourselves, look after each other. All you lovely people who subscribe to my channel here at Urban Bars, thank you so much. And for all you people that haven't subscribed to my channel yet at Urban Bars, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel because I'd love each and every single one of you. But above all of that, guys, make sure and make certain that you all come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys.